when Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach there in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus tells us, If you do not take your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of me. Anyone who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Through these words, Jesus is asking his disciples to follow a special type of discipleship with him. A type of renouncing which will help the disciples to be more and more attached to the Lord. This is all the more true for us as preachers of the word. The question I like to ponder today is this. How can we as Dominicans as preachers of the word, be authentic disciples of the Lord. I would like to reflect on three important aspects. First, as disciples, we are called to choose God over the works of God. Every Dominican must confront this reality in his life. The most secure foundation of Dominican disciple is our relationship with the person of Jesus. This relationship leads us to understand in the depth of our hearts that we are the beloved sons and daughters of our Father. This knowledge in turn calls for love for the person of Jesus and the church. This will in reality drive us to carry out our mission faithfully. It is like St. Paul who says, the love of Christ impels us. Without this love of Christ and His church, our life will be meaningless and our willpower will soon fail, especially when we encounter difficult circumstances in our lives. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, it is very important for us as Dominicans, as Brother Bruno already said, it is not what we do that primarily matters, but who we are and what we are. Secondly, as Dominicans, we need to make Christ the center of our lives. This will bring us to a certain kenosis, our going beyond our own loves, desires and interests. I need to ask myself often, is Christ the center of my life? We need to ask this question because there is always a temptation to want to put ourselves in the center, my life, my mission, and my projects. When you do this, we go astray from the Lord. We must look at Christ crucified intently as our Father Dominic. As we look at Him intently, we discover the wisdom of the wisdom of Christ and our ignorance. His omnipotence and our weakness, His justice and our iniquity. Finally, when we follow the way of discipleship, we begin to grow in faith, conviction and courage to become a true witness for Christ in the world. We have a shining example from India of a woman who was killed for professing her faith. In the year 2008, 
there was religious persecution in Andaman, the north of India. A Hindu fundamentalist asked a nine-month pregnant woman whose name is Lalita to renounce her faith in the person of Jesus. Her answer was, I live and die for Christ. Hearing this, this man cut her into pieces. Certainly, my dear brothers and sisters, as we begin to live our authentic discipleship, perhaps we need to face opposition, confrontations and challenges. But the one who has called us will certainly give us the courage. Through the intercession of St. Bonaventure, let us pray for this grace.